Good connections are the key to effective communication within a network. Technology advances can make this a smooth process. Automatic Medium Dependent Interface Crossover, MDIX, facilitates this when setting up or modifying your network. In this episode of Cisco Tech Talk, I'll explain MDIX and two different ways to configure it on your Cisco business switch. Next. Before MDIX, two different connection cables were often needed. Straight through cables connected switches to hardware including servers, workstations, and routers. Crossover cables were used to connect a switch to another switch or repeater. On a Cisco business switch with auto MDIX enabled, the interface detects the necessary cable type required and adjusts as needed, all within one cable. Simple and effective. As a best practice, when using auto MDIX on an interface, you should configure the interface speed and duplex settings to auto so that the feature operates correctly. This table shows the link states that result from auto MDIX settings with correct and incorrect cabling. In the first case, auto MDIX is enabled on both the local and remote sites, so the link will stay up either way. When auto MDIX is enabled on either the local or the remote site, the link will remain up even if the cabling is not correct. So what happens if auto MDIX is disabled at both the local and remote site? The link will remain up with correct cabling and down with incorrect cabling. To configure auto MDIX on a Cisco business switch, first log into the terminal of the device by entering the username and the password in PuTTY. Once you have logged into your switch, type the command configure terminal to log into the global configuration mode to log into a specific switch interface, enter the command interface followed by the interface number. For this example, I'll use the switch port number two. After that, type the command MDIX. From here, there are two options. If you configure on, MDIX will be enabled. Alternatively, if you configure auto, it will configure the auto medium dependent interface, MDI or MDIX. To configure auto, which is the default configuration on the CBS switch, you'll need to enter the command MDIX auto and press enter. You'll want to save the configuration on the switch, so the feature will stay enabled after a reboot. To do this, enter exit from the switch interface mode, and then exit from the global configuration mode. Once that's done, type the command copy running dash config start of dash config and press Enter. Choose yes to save the configuration by typing Y and press enter. You can also configure the auto MDIX settings via the web user interface of the switch. To do this, access the switch by entering your username and password. Click the login button. Next, navigate to port management. Under the port settings page, select the switch port you want to edit and click on the edit icon. On the Edit Port Settings page, scroll down to the MDI or MDIX Settings section. As you can see, the three options for MDI slash MDIX setting in the web user interface includes MDIX, MDI, and Auto. In this case, Auto is selected as it is the default setting. The Operational MDI or MDIX shows as MDI. So on this port, it is detected as MDI. Once you've configured the port, click Apply. To permanently save the settings, click on File Operations, then Duplicate as the operation type. Choose the source file name as Running Configuration and the destination as the startup configuration. Click Apply to save the settings. Now you know how to configure auto MDIX settings on Cisco business switches using both the CLI and web user interface of the switch. Gone are the days when you need to worry about every little detail when setting up your network. And this MDIX feature helps you get on your way. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.